my name is George Coburn. Now, I live in Cambridge. I'm a man. I have a wife. My wife is called Petunia. My son is called Jeremy. Jeremy is in bed because he's a bloody teenager. My wife, Petunia, is out. She's walking the dog. Now is my time to actually do something that I'd quite like to do myself. I'm going to do some cooking because I've secretly got a passion for cooking. Usually Petunia does the cooking. You know, I don't want to tell her that I like cooking because, you know, she likes cooking and I enjoy her meals. And I, you know, I feel a bit embarrassed to tell her that I'm into cooking. For years, I did not like cooking. But now I'm getting into it, you see. I feel rather enjoying myself cooking. So that's why I've, I've started off this cooking show. Um, just to practice my skills. Welcome to the George Coburn cooking show. These are my ingredients. Here's my other ingredient. Neoguri. Rambyan. So I think it's some kind of ramen, you know, ramen, you know, ramen. So I like, I like myself Asian food. I really enjoy a good bit of Asian food. Get pan out. Let's open this up. Oh, bloody hell. What's happened there? Oh, shit. Oh, Petunia. Oh, no, I... Okay, so I've got a bit of an issue here. I think I've broken the drawer. Um, so, right, got the pan. Good. Let's just see if I can fix the drawer. Yeah, that's going back in. That's good. Right. That stays there. Yes, that's definitely broken. Shit. Got to fix that before Petunia gets back. All right. Okay. Well, I've got my pan. So this is the key thing. This is what we really need. Okay. We, uh, you know, the good thing about this recipe is you don't need much. You don't need much at all. It doesn't cost much. And it, you don't need much in order to do it. You don't need any fancy silly buggers. So look, we've got a pan. That's actually all we need. Just a pan. All we're going to use today is just one bloody pan. But if you don't have a pan, you can actually pick one up for about 15 pounds. So we're just going to use that. Lovely jubbly. Just one pan. This, I think, costs one pound. If that. Maybe even 50p. This sort of thing does not set you back much money, okay? Cheap. What we've got here is we've got broccoli, some courgette, and we've got onion. Now, I've got to finish off the courgette. You know how to chop courgette, don't you? So we're going with little circles. Usually you hold your other hand on the um, courgette, but I've got to hold this bloody telephone, my smart telephone, so you can see. Right, and I also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to half some of them. The two at once. There we go. That saves you some time. If you do two at once, it's good, isn't it? I'm not going to half all of them, just some of them. Chop. If you actually half only half of them, half half of the halves, the half half of the um, courgette moons, then you will actually, you will have some moons and some half moons. Moons, half moons. When you're eating the meal, you can then actually sort of get a little surprise every now and then. You go, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to have a little half now. That's very nice. Oh, this one's circle. This one's a full moon. So it's just a little tree, a little tip for you there, just to make it a bit more exciting. I, wa I didn't chop the onion yet, I'll tell you why, because I wanted to show you a special way of doing it. Off you come. So yeah, see this bit of the onion is not very good, it's quite hard, you see? So we don't really want this flaky bit, it's not very tasty. So what we do is we chuck that away, chuck that in a bin later. Right, here we go, and now you can see this bit's less hard, it's a bit more soggy and soft and sweet and beautiful, right? The onion has many layers. Look at that, very beautiful onion, isn't it? This is a red variety of onion. I like the red ones. Usually you might chop an onion like this, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it this way. Slithers. These are called slithers. I'm going to slither the onion. Right, so now you see I've actually got slithers. These are quite good for a noodle soup. You know, that's kind of the shape that you're going for, okay? Right, oh shit. Right, I've dropped that bit on the floor. No, I'm going to pick it up, put that in anyway. Right, so there's a three second rule. So if you've dropped something on the floor, you have three seconds. So if you pass it by three seconds and then it's got dirt on it, you know, it's too late. Pick it up within three seconds, it's still going to be fine. That's my top tip for you. Okay, here we go. So we're going to turn on the oven. This is the big oven switch. There we are. Now my oven is on. You can see this light indicates that the oven is on. And we also get like a flashing system here. So I've got these indicators right here and th these tell me which one is which. So we see here, this one says front right. Turn that on. 
I'm going to put it on full. Pour a little bit of oil, you don't really need to measure it, just stick that in there. I might just open up this pack of noodles. Here we go. Right, it's quite difficult to open these with one hand. I'll tell you why it's difficult, because I, I picked up the oil, and now I've got oil on my hand, so it keeps bloody slipping out. We're going to approach this a different way. I'm going to use the knife to get in there, look. Yes! You didn't see that, but look what I've done. I've opened that up, and now I've got a little hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that hole, I'm going to extend that hole, make it a bit bigger, so we can actually get the noodles out. I don't know if you've ever got these sort of noodles before, but what you tend to get is a little sachet. Oh, this one's got a couple of sachets. Yes. And there we go. So, what we're going to do, I'm just going to stick all these vegetables in there. Um, I think we're going to start with the courgette. Because the courgette actually takes a bit more cooking than everything else. That pan's going nuts, isn't it? C calm down. Right, there we go. Throw that in. Just, just, it's really important you actually throw this in, you see? You mustn't place it in, like this. You don't, don't plate, don't, for goodness sake, don't place it. If you place it in, you'll burn your hands. Right, so we pick up the courgette, chuck it in. Pick up the courgette, chuck it in. Pick up the courgette, you get, you get, you know what I'm about to do. Chuck it in. Good. Right, then I'm going to go with the broccoli. Here we go. Get in there, broccoli. Are you going to hear that all sizzling away? What am I going to do? I'm going to start boiling the kettle as well. Oh, bloody hell, that's not working. Ah, I see. Right, it's not plugged in. Right, this is a top tip. If you're going to use your kettle, what you can do is you can plug it in. You see, what you have to do with your kettle first, you get it into the wall there. You make sure this switch is turned down. And then you can get it on. Right, so now, with any luck... Yes, there we go. The veg is going nuts. So let's just give that a good stir. Let's get the onion in. So again, once again, we're going with the throwing technique here. Just may I throw it in, look. That made a good sound, very nice. So we stick all this in. Right, there we go. We just have to cook that for a bit. Gotta make it so it's kind of soft. We're going to get some spices. I, I quite like dill. You have to sort of open them up like this. You see that? Right, and then you just sort of stick it in. Shake it in, right, there we go, we've got some bloody dill in there now. You see the dill is now getting infused. Turmeric. Ground turmeric. Now turmeric, it sort of has a odd funny flavor. You wouldn't thought you'd expect to put that with um, noodles, but I do. So now the spices are working really well with the vegetables. Meanwhile, my kettle is boiling. Now see, you need the hot water in order to cook the noodles. Usually you get a pack of dried noodles, it will tell you on the back what you need to do. So here we go. That's French. Ah, here we are. Direction. Add noodle. So you, you follow the directions. Do, do what it says. 550 millimeters of boiling water. So we want 550, so that's about half a litre and a bit more. Pour that in here. Quite a lot of bloody water actually, isn't it? This is what we want first. You want the power, uh, powder soup. I thought that said power soup for a second there. It's got a hot taste. Now we can see that's all going in. Okay, now we get the boiling water. And we pour that over the noodles. Woo! There we go. What you really have to make sure of is that the noodles go into the water now. So we're just going to break that up a bit. Don't worry about breaking up. That's no problem. Now I've got a little timer on my oven here. So here we go. Look, I go to the little bell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press plus. You press it once, you get one minute. You press it again, you get another. And we keep going until we get five. And then you press this button in the middle. It's very useful, my oven. You see it? It can time things for me. I spent a lot of money on this oven. Petunia was quite adamant that we, we buy an expensive oven. My wife doesn't like a mess, you know, Petunia does not like a mess. And she doesn't know I'm doing this, so I'm going to tidy up a bit. This is not recyclable, so this is going my normal waste bin. This one is my sort of, you know, recyclable bin. I don't know if you do that as well, people at home, but you should. You bloody well recycle, okay? I don't like it when people don't recycle, I can't believe it. 
people do. I go around people's houses sometimes, and I'll see that they're not recycling. I wait. I shan't have it. I shan't have it. I simply shall not have it when people do not recycle. There's no good reason not to. So please do recycle. If you don't recycle currently, viewers, learn to recycle. Okay. For goodness' sake. It does get me very angry. It gets Petunia very angry as well. We, we go around someone's house and they don't have a recycling bin. Uh, where can I put my waitrose receipt? Where's your paper bin, I, I say. And they say, well, we don't have one. We'll just, just chuck it in the bin. A what? I'm sorry? Just the, no you, the normal bin? No. No, I shan't do it. I simply shall not do it. I said to them, I said, no, I'm not going to put my waitrose receipt in your bin. I'm going to keep hold of it until I get home and I'm going to put my receipt where I want to put it, in the recycling bin, so that paper gets recycled, okay? For goodness sake, Petunia. Well, no, no, not Petunia. She's, she's good. She recycles, yes. This beeping and this flashing and the zeros there, that indicates that the five minutes is up. So I can press this now to stop the beeping. Beautiful. Last touch here. We've got a little treat here that came with the pack. Vegetable flake. And we have it. Give that a little stir. And the meal is done. I'm going to try some noodles. Bloody hell. I just got some juice on my shirt. Okay, well I'm going to have to clean my own shirt now. So now, before Petunia gets back, I need to fix the drawer, clean my own shirt, and eat the food. Okay, so we'll finish there. Thank you very much for joining me. Please subscribe. Like the video as well. And tell your friends, tell your friends that they must, they simply must watch George Coburn's cooking show. Yes, toodle pip. Goodbye. George Coburn here, signing off.